years and the surface can be very uneven in in certain locations half takes a change up just off the outside corner for ball one obviously in the major leagues you go to a game in new york or boston or detroit where you're from the michigan area in april and the field still looks immaculate what do they do to combat that cold weather as the one out of half is a breaking ball in the dirt load two and nothing uh, there's all kind of different things some places have grow blankets uh, which is basically a blanket that goes down allows the grass to breathe um, but still keeps a little bit warmer uh, Minnesota Twins, when they did their when they did their park, they have miles and miles of hot water that goes pipes that go underneath the grass, so they keep their root system at approximately 66.4 degrees or whatever optimal temperature they want all year, so they, they can melt the snow right away. Two a breaking ball hooks in on a backdoor belt high outside corner. It's called strike one. Yeah, I mean, you know, we uh, some of the major league systems, major league parks, NFL fields, they have uh, what's called like a sub air system, which is what a lot of USGA greens have. Um, you know, we do, we don't have that here, but two one is line foul, left field line into play. But our field is built to the specs of a USGA green uh, with a 10 inch root zone of. Uh, 95 percent sand and five percent organic matter so it's just a difference like i said different different teams can do different things uh based on resources and budget so yeah major league teams you know like i said with uh grow blankets or with a sub air system they can they can uh maneuver the temperatures at will here's the two two to half breaking ball down and away and the count is full two outs a runner on third and the pelicans lead by one in the home half of the fifth inning Say in places like uh, the Green Bay Packers, they've really implemented a, a tactic from Europe, what they do on the soccer fields, and they have grow lights. So when it gets, when uh, Aaron Rodgers takes the Packers over the Detroit Lions yearly into the playoffs <laughs> from the NFC North, uh, they'll, they'll bring out the grow lights and keep it going. Payoff is rolled on the first base line, trickling foul, and we'll do it again. So if you go out there at nighttime in December in Green Bay, you'll see uh, diff three or four light banks going slowly moving across the field that uh, basically they're growing grass at night in December wow. by using that tactic. I, I, I noticed that Lam Lambeau Field, I don't know if you, if you know why, but it seems like most NFL fields, they cut the grass straight down the yard markers so that every five or five yards you get the different color. Lambo for some reason, they cut him from the corner, right, or, or some weird pattern. Is that potentially why? Yeah, you, usually at the NFL, they go uh, sideline to sideline. 3-2 line foul. Because that helps with the uh, with, with keeping the lines straight. So that way, because if you, if you mowed end zone to end zone right before, if you paint the line on Friday, mow end zone to end zone on Saturday, your lines aren't going to be exactly straight. So... Uh, Usually, usually if they're if they're mowing like a, like a diamond pattern, the grass probably isn't growing. They're probably just rolling, and it's probably just staying that way. But uh, usually on, on Sundays, you have to mow uh, sideline to sideline to keep that to keep that straight line going. Um, otherwise, you know, some of those, some of those close calls in the NFL could go one way or the other if you mowed end zone to end zone. The line was built bent a little bit. Could be a, a nine and three quarters yeah. yard marker, huh? Yep, exactly. Three two again. Swing and a miss. Got him with a fastball down and away.